Hi Week Beauties! Welcome back to beauties welcome back to the channel and if you're new here hi i'm trish and on our channel we love to do beauty content fashion unboxings lifestyle all types of fun stuff so if you guys ever have any requests just make sure you guys leave it in the comment section or you can dm me over on instagram all right as you guys can already tell i'm looking crazy okay there's a reason for it uh, as you also seen in today's video it's going to be a collab with no other than Heather from Crazy Beautiful MUA. I will go ahead and definitely link her in the description box. So make sure you guys go ahead and watch her video after. We're both gonna be reviewing um, the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. You guys, ah, ah, I'm so excited. It's my very first Natasha Denona Palette. Dee got it for me for our 18 year anniversary. It's 18 years since we've been together. So it's so exciting. Thank you again, Dee, for getting this beautiful palette for me. And then also to, um, he also got me the Glam Face palette too as well. So I will be still doing a review on that eventually. I did use the blush and the highlight from the palette. Uh, all right, so I just want to say thank you really quick to Heather again for wanting to collab with me. And I have the swatches already on my arm to save time. And I know I'm kind of looking clownish still, and it's probably bothering some of you because it's bothering me. Like when I keep looking at myself, I'm like, oh, what's going on? But I love to have, I played with her a couple times actually already. I don't know if that's considered cheating or not um, when you're trying to do a review, but it's not like um, a first impression. So it shouldn't be considered cheating, right? Uh, but I just, I could not wait. He got, uh, Dee got this palette for me, um, like I said, so, and he gave it to me on the 26th, so I'm like, I can't wait. And then today's the 31st. All right, so first up, we're going to talk about, this is the box that she comes in. My, I have two lights on and a ring light because it's so gloomy here in Michigan. And then it also has on the back, it kind of has, um, on the back it has, um, a little how to use like kind of cheat sheet right there a little black description there and then um there are like matte eyeshadows she says to use like um you can use like a fluffy crease brush whatever and then metallics are the metallics and duochrome are better use your finger um with a uh, duochromes and metallics so to make it pop more um you guys i'm just so excited i feel like i'm all over the place okay uh, i do apologize for that but again this is the box that she comes in I just love like the smoothness to it all right guys and then this right here is her the actual palette let's see if it's gonna focus it's like yeah you see how it goes from ombre it's like a pink and then it goes to like purple down here and then it bounces back to like that mint color then in the back you could see that it is actually um there's like little holes there and you can pop those out to put them into your own palette if you'd like um if you have like a you know organized palette like you know those like full metallic i mean not metallic but um magnetic there you go magnetic um palettes i think it's called z palette right and then um or you can rearrange them here in this palette itself and then it does come with a mirror but i'm not going to show you guys that because it will for sure blind you but this is her look how beautiful and I did already do swatches, like I said, to save time. And I'm not the best swatcher. And then I'm pretty proud of myself, though, that I got even those. Um, so it's those right there. I'm not going to go through all the shade names for you guys. Um, because I'm sure if you are viewing this, you already know. Or you guys can even, you know, look it up if you want. If you want to see what shades are in there. Um, but it's just to kind of, the swatches are just to give you guys an idea. Like by this being a pastel palette, it is, pastels are considered to be more, I guess, transparent. Like not as bright, not as bold. That's why I have this on to show you guys what you guys can still create with this beautiful, gorgeous palette. And we're going to go get into, you know, a look. And I don't know what look I'm going to do just yet. Heather and I decided, you know, just do whatever look we want and then see if we come up with the same one maybe because her and I are a lot alike when it comes to makeup I feel like all right guys so I'm not sitting at my vanity as you guys can tell probably uh so I kind of like have everything <laughs> like I'm holding everything in my lap kind of situation and I'm like oh boy electrish <laughs> um so I'm like how am I gonna do this so we'll figure it out as I go uh but 
I do have like extras just in case I go to stuff. So first I'm going to go in with a crease brush here. And I don't know, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, we're going to use the shade Feather, which is actually the bottom right shade right here. And we're just going to kind of put that in the crease. All right, so that's the shade Feather right now in my crease. And you kind of like, I have hooded eyes, so I have to go up a little bit, like blend it up a little bit where, where um, those that don't have hooded eyes don't have to. But us hooded eye gals, got to go up. Next, I'm going to take a smaller elf crease brush. And I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. Okay, so I could go into Bora and kind of like do like a halo eye with this. Or I could do like so many other things. Like, guys, I'm so excited. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Bora actually with a flat shader brush. And Bora is this shade right there. It's almost like a... Um, deeper it's like the deepest color in the palette and i'm going to apply that to the outer corner all right guys i applied that to the outer corner right now and then next what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into the shade bubble here and i'm going to apply that right next to the um outer corner so i'm going to kind of like blend it inwards like into that shade um feather i mean bora bubbles into all right bora. so that's the shade bubbles right next to bora and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add um, the shade Duet right there into the inner corner. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm not looking so scary now with <laughs> all that whiteness like on my eyelid. Uh, so what are you guys thinking so far? I guess I should have like scooted closer, right? Like a zoomed in look. Yeah, I could still do that. All right, so I got a little closer for you guys. So what are you guys thinking of these colors together? I'm going to grab a fluffy crease brush actually and go along my brow bone with the shade Illusion, which is that white shade. It's like, um, actually has like pink gold shift to it. It's so pretty. Put it in my inner corner. All right. So this is the look so far. I'm like loving it. I love that shade bubbles a lot. All right, so next for the lower lash line, I want to use some of the green. So I'm going to use the color Brisk, which is that mint shade. It's like that mint green right there, that one. All right, so what I did is I actually went into, I cannot pronounce the name, Eretic right here, this metallic one. And then I also went into mint, um, mint frost right there. And I kind of like, oh, got something in my eye. Uh, Put it all along my lower lash line there. I'm trying to look at myself on my phone, so that's where I'm like looking at. All right, so that's the look right now that I have, and I think I actually really do like it. It gives me such like kind of candy-ish vibes, like um, ice cream vibes, all types of fun yummy vibes. <laughs> All right, so I do have all these like fun eyeliners and graphic liners that are pastel, but I'm actually gonna just forego those and go ahead and just pop on some mascara. And that's because like, I don't know, I just kind of like really like the look I created and I don't want to overdo it. And then if I overdo it, then I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have overdid it. <laughs> so <laughs> there we go. All right, in my RBSG um, collab video, I went ahead and told you guys I would be reviewing this um, Essence, it's the Double Trouble, Double Trouble Mascara. It's the one with the pink lid, pink top. So as you see on this, there's like on one side, I'm trying to see, uh, this side right there is more or less like those bushy like um, brushes that I myself and many others say that we love. And then it's like that, I don't know if this can help you see it better. And then when you turn it around, it has like that, um, the bristles are more like that, um, then I don't know how to describe it. Like, um, it's not as like whatever's like that little plasticky part. It's like I don't know how to describe it. But it's like yeah, it has both on the wand, so you can kind of like make a curl with your lash. You can do all types of fun stuff. So what I do, because I've used this a few times, is I kind of like start holding it like that and kind of just apply. is the mascara on so I'm gonna kind of get a little closer so you guys can see um, what do you guys think I actually really really love this mascara it does not budge like it does not flake off it lasts all day 
you guys know if you guys know that I am oily so for it not to like bleed onto like my actual eyelid like you know like when you put on mascara and like you look around and stuff and it gets like on your like lid and you're like shit well that happens to me sometimes even with Highland uh, mascara and this one though it does not so uh, it's a major plus and I think for only like what like five bucks or so like it's totally worth the little five bucks that it is and again it's the essence double trouble and then I also want to tell you guys okay so you see these like little spots underneath it's because like I've been fake faking and anytime even if um anytime I get like a type of a tan to me like underneath here like those spots are just prominent and it's always been like that my entire life so it's not like my makeup or anything it's not fallout it's not mascara it's just how my skin is and I even have like um over top I have um my concealer on and you can still see it but it's only picking up really on camera it's not bad in person so this is my overall look what do you guys think now I want to share with you guys my overall thoughts on this palette okay so by it being my very first Natasha Denona palette, I'm in love because I've always wanted to try Natasha Denona eyeshadows and I just have and when I have like this urge just want like for some reason I'm just like ah I need it and so I'm so stoked and thank you again D for getting this for me this beautiful palette and I think that okay so it, I guess from what people are saying it's a midi palette which is a smaller size of the pants of the eyeshadows and I guess it's a really good thing people like that a lot better versus like the hundred and something dollar price tag. And uh, this is $65. And I want to say like that's cheap, but for the quality and what you get, I feel like the $65 is worth it. Because I'm more of a type of person, I would spend $65 on a blush, highlight, even a lip gloss or a mascara. <laughs> Versus like a whole eyeshadow palette, you know what I'm saying? Like that's just how I am because those things like really excite me. But whenever I see a palette like this beauty, like I'm like, heck yes, I need that. And then when I'm in that mood to splurge like that on something, I get so hyped. <laughs> so, and at this palette was not good. If I tried it and I was like, no, hell no. Like I would not return it though. Like I would give it either to my girls or to like a friend or someone. But I would honestly like I would tell you guys you guys know that right uh, I would say hey you know it's not worth it but many people that say this is not a good palette that I've been watching reviews on okay this is what makes me like it irks me actually and Heather even said something uh, and I'm sure she'll probably say something in her video about it too as well but this is what it says it's a pastel palette therefore it's not going to be bold it's not going to pack a punch really it's gonna be light and a lot of people when they get her palettes I guess like they assume that it's gonna be very pigmented well pastels are not meant to be pigmented guys and so therefore with how it applies for me I love it and I feel like on deeper skin tones like how I use the white base to apply that people with deeper skin tones can totally do that and still achieve a noticeable noticeable beautiful look too and I feel like okay because when I first received this palette from D uh I was fairer I was like a lighter um skin tone and then now since I've been tanning I'm more of like a deeper skin complexion and I feel like it still shows up really well on me and I just feel like yeah it would work great with for you guys too uh for those that are actually interested in this palette and think it's beautiful you guys can just do like um you know a white base on your eyelids and you know, bam, there you go. And now, so you can't even see I have all that crazy stuff underneath my eyes, like over, like underneath my eyeshadow. But yeah, I just, you guys. And so even with this other palette that I have, it's gonna be bright and bounce off everywhere. Uh, this one right here, the mattes in here are, um, can be powdery, like you can tell I've been loving the blush. <laughs> um, like on uh, this shade, that, and that one, they're powdery, they do kick up. But let me tell you, they melt into your skin. Like I've not had, like I have kick up in the pan and I won't, you know, dust off my brush at all. Like I'll just leave it. And then when I apply it, there's no fallout. So it goes onto your skin directly and it's just amazing. It's so much fun and I can't recommend it enough. If you guys are thinking about the pastel palette and you, these colors speak to you, it's something that you guys are definitely intrigued by and whatever, like just, 
do it, okay? Just go get it. And I know that the Sephora VIB sale is coming up or is about to be or is currently when this video goes up. And um, yeah, so you guys can save, you know, however much percentage off your guys' purchase on it too as well. So there's that. Thank you so much, Heather, uh, for wanting to collab with me on this beautiful, gorgeous palette. Uh, I cannot wait to see what look you create, Heather. You guys definitely, uh, when her video goes up, I will put in the, the link to as well uh, to her video directly so you guys can click on it and go watch if you like so but please do and um, you guys Heather is just such a sweet amazing lady like I told you guys like before when we collabed to like she's just I don't know she's so me like in so many ways like especially when it comes to makeup and I feel like she has a lot like the more that we're getting to know one another I feel like her and I have like a lot in common like as far as like our spontaneousness I can't say that word <laughs> how spontaneous we are in general as a person and we're both Gemini's and it's like you know we're we're twins you know <laughs> and um but I'm having so much fun getting to know Heather and I hope you guys do too as well can go over to her channel and subscribe and watch her video and then you guys I'm just so excited I'm just all over the place <laughs> so I hope I did okay enough to like try to stay focused you know I just gotten off work and um I'm like I can't film this video tomorrow I have a friend coming over and then I have like so much going on this weekend thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments or you guys know to go over to Instagram if you want and leave me some questions there and uh, I will gladly respond to you guys as well and um yeah, let me know what you guys think of the look I created and if you guys got the palette or getting or considering and if you guys are considering it's actually I think supposed to be a limited edition so I don't know how long that means it's gonna last how long it's gonna be being made for or whatnot so jump on it if you want it <laughs> I'm so crazy anyway focus Trish focus Thank you, Heather, and I hope you guys go check her out, and I will talk to you guys soon, and let's chat in the comments. All right, thank you guys so much.